Hey, it's Kurt, your prison pal. So the number one tool that you're going to need in prison is going to be this. Simple, strong, gives you a great hold on anything. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the screwdriver, which is a necessity. Again, these two I can do just about anything with, a screwdriver and a pair of fingernail clippers. So the pen is going to be something similar to this, but you always want to make sure that it has this removable clip. If you look in the top, it has a slot where it just pushes right in. So this clip kind of comes out. Normally you got a bang on it. I've already loosened it and pulled it out because it is a pain. And then we would just take our fingernail clippers. And you see, it's got that little bend in the top. We're just going to take that. We're going to pry it out. So you see now it's flat. All right, so from there, we're going to take our commissary ink pen, which, which is the same exact thing as the one we get on commissary for 30 cent. Lids off. We're going to take it apart. I only want this. So we're going to take this ink pen that we have, and we're just going to take the tip of it, and we're going to stick it down in there. We're going to turn it left and right and just kind of break open the mouth of this so see we broke open the mouth of the pen just enough that the bottom flipped end can fit down in. so now that we have this inside of the pen we're going to go over to our flame so i'm not going to keep showing you all the process of making the wick because it takes forever so i'm just going to take the pop socket and light my wig. So you're gonna need a t-shirt. It's gonna need to be wet. Um, t-shirt works best just uh, something that doesn't have like a lot of frills. Don't use a sock or anything like that. So we're gonna take this and this is our wig. It's still burning. So our ink pen. Again, ink pen stuck down inside of it. The clip from the officer's pen. So we're just gonna take it over here right where the flame is and I'll pull y'all up a little bit. So you're just going to have to heat it up a little bit for a while and just kind of press it in each time that you feel like it's starting to move because you'll see the plastic start moving. So here's your final result. You can see that we just kind of melted the plastic around it. It's not exactly straight. Yeah, I tried, but it served a purpose. And we got a screwdriver handle stuck in there and it works fairly well